went through all of my spice cupboards, I found I had all these different salts and little bits of garlic and little bits of herbs. I thought instead of having all these containers, I'm going to put everything into one. So we have some Himalayan salt that I seasoned with my dried herbs. Remember when I did that video? Mmm, it smells so good. And then I have all different kinds of really unusual uh, salt containers. This is truffles. So we're going to put everything in here. And I'm going to combine this salt into a seasoned salt. Dollar Tree's Himalayan salt. We're just going to put everything in here. Now this is going to be more like of a spaghetti or an Italian type salt, but I'm putting it all together. We're going to get rid of all these containers and put it all into one. I got blended up really fine and this way we will use it up. It's so nice to go in my cupboards now and find everything just where I need it. It makes cooking so much easier and quicker. This here is salsa. It's a salsa type seasoning. So the all has the same theme and that is it's Italian. We're gonna go ahead and blend this all up and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. One, it smells amazing. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put it into our glass jar. So this would be perfect for any kind of Italian dish. It has the fine garlic in it. This would be good if you're boiling noodles and you want to add a little salt to it and it has some flavorings. This gave a lot of it. All right, so I'm going to put this back on and I'm going to see if I can make this even finer. All right, everyone, I made this just a little bit finer. So we're going to have this poured into my glass jars. And I hope you enjoyed this small little video of how you can take a whole bunch of seasonings, put them together, and make your own seasoning salt. All right, let's get into the rest of the video, and I'll share with you what I'm working on today. One of the things I'm really learning to do is to label everything. So as I clean through everything and I put everything back away, we're labeling it. I got these really amazing labels on Amazon. They weren't very expensive at all, and it's pages and pages. And then there's some blank ones where you can make your own. So it's like, I think 150 labels of all different food items and I was able to use a lot of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I label everything. So this is my salt with the truffle. So this is gonna be my black salt truffle, even though there's other things in it. All right, everybody. If you're interested in containers like these, the Dollar Tree, the Dollar Tree has them. The Dollar Tree had this one, and I just put my very own lid on it. So the Dollar Tree has these beautiful different jars, and they're getting more and more as the weeks go by. They're getting more and more really unusual jars, and I think they're great. They're very heavy duty. Even some of them you can can with. And if you'd like to make your own labels for only a dollar, I have a video where I shared with you the Dollar Tree is expanding all of their craft items to every store. And they have all kinds of chalkboard labels and chalkboard pens that you can create your own labels for just about a dollar.
Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me. If you like short videos, I'm going to say goodbye to you now. And for those of you who like longer videos, I hope you get a cup of coffee and sit down with me. And I'll have five minutes of reflection on this week. I like doing these kind of videos. I like sharing with you what I work on during the day or how my day is going. Some people like long videos while other people like really short ones. And this part is for those of you who wish my videos were just a little bit longer. I'm going to try to do this maybe three times a week, maybe at an end of a shorter video, just giving you the end of the day thoughts and sharing with you what has been on my mind this week. I've been on a real journey and I am really excited about the path that my life is taking. If you missed some of my videos this week, you missed a lot of content because I made a video on Monday and Wednesday, part of my journey and how I am just organizing my life. My life stood stand still for a little while. And it's so refreshing to get your life back on track and to get rid of the clutter of your life and to feel good about doing something. I will admit I was so overwhelmed at first. I didn't know where to start. And I think that's what happens between there's a fine line between having preparedness and then hoarding. A lot of people ask me why did I use the word hoarding in my videos? Simply because I felt like it was getting towards hoarding. Am I a hoarder like you see on the hoarding shows? No, not at all. I'm very clean and I have my house very presentable. But when it came to the food and not having it organized right, it was becoming so overwhelming that then it would become hoarding. And I do realize so much. I realize that when people go through traumatic things in their life, their life is on a standstill and they just have to cope from day to day. And that's what I was doing. I was just coping, coping to get my video out, coping to do all of these things. And I really was neglecting some parts of my life and that I gained again. I reclaimed my life. The added blessing through all of my cleaning up is I lost weight. I lost about eight or nine pounds. And while that doesn't seem like much, I'm starting to regain a lot more energy. I'm getting back up, I'm moving around, I'm doing a lot. I live a really busy life. And that in turn has helped me in healing of the loss of my parents. And it's helped me in so many ways. And so that is just another blessing about getting up and starting one room at a time and cleaning it up. And soon it's just like a snowball effect and you start erasing all of the bad habits that you had and you're placing them in with good ones. So I wasn't a hoarder, but my tendencies were becoming to go that way. It was starting to head that way because when life gets overwhelming and you have too much stuff, you can't keep it controlled then that becomes hoarding and then that becomes an issue. I understand fully. I understand the pain that people go through and then maybe they're older or they have some kind of physical disabilities. I can see so quick how your life could overtake you. And my journey is not over yet. I have a lot of things ahead. I have to wait till the weather is just a little bit warmer for some more major things happening here on my home and it has to do with hoarding and cleaning up and all of those amazing things that help you feel so much better at the end of the day. My house is now complete and I have everything organized that I want, except for a few small places, which you're going to be seeing in upcoming videos. But the major hoarding, the major hoarding part of the food is all cleaned up. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoy my videos and I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me. And I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. I do have videos out seven days a week at 7 p.m. Eastern time every single day. And I've done that for many years. And while I stopped for a little bit to give myself a little break, this for me is what gives me total peace is to have a video every day to share a part of my life with all of you. And I thank you guys so much for enjoying them because it means the world to me. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe there's some videos that you missed. Take a look here. See you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody.